Example 10, a 50 mm diameter water jet strikes horizontally and normally a flat plate. Determine the jet velocity required if an 80 newton force is required to permit the plate to move at a constant speed of 2 meters to the right. The jet velocity required if the plate is in equilibrium, so that is V1 or V. The jet velocity if the jet is to move a constant speed of 2 meters per second opposite to that of the jet. So for the first F is Q prime rho times quantity V1 minus V prime or density area quantity V1 minus V prime square. So that's why you had to look at the lecture video first so that you will be familiar with these formulas in the derivation there. So I'll use this formula instead. So 80 is equal to 1000 quantity pi 0 0.025 square V1 minus 2 positive 2 quantity square. So 80 divided by, 1, 80 divided by quantity 1000 pi 0.025 square extract the square root then plus 2. So V sub 1 velocity in the jet is 8.383 meters per second. For the second part it is the plate is in equilibrium, so 80 equals Q rho times V or density area velocity square. So let's use the other formula again, density area velocity square. So 80 equals density area pi 0 0.025 square, then velocity square. Velocity, jet velocity V is also V1 equals 6.383 meters per second. Then finally, the jet is moving at a constant speed of 2 meters per second opposite to that of the jet. V prime is negative 2. So we use the second formula again. The density area quantity V1 minus V prime quantity square. So 80 equals 1000 times 5.025 square quantity V1 minus negative 2 quantity square. So 80 divide by quantity 1000 pi 0.025 square extract the square root then minus 2 so v equals v1 equals 4.383 meters per second 